guys, we are getting ready to go to the gym. I am hoping it will zap me out of this mood that I'm in. I'm not feeling the greatest lately. Um, I have, I've been having um, this really weird burning smell and uh, I can't smell anything else. So it's really weird. Are you getting your shoes and socks on? Um, and so it's really kind of messing with me. It's messing my sinuses. I have kind of a headache. My eyes are hurting. Um, it's kind of, it kind of feels like uh, if you're near a campfire and you breathe in the smoke, how your whole system just feels out of whack. That's exactly how I feel right now. So I'm tired. I have a headache. It's two. It's the second day of, um, of my week my vitamin week so today is not supposed to have you know the the most energy but um i've been doing pretty good since i've been going to the gym so i'm hoping it'll just zap me out of the energy thing that i have going on where's your water bottle we get left in the car okay so uh we are going to head out to the gym and we will come back in just a little bit Yes, this is a train going down my street. We get those uh, twice a week, four times, once coming down and once going back. Fun stuff. Good morning. I am waiting to take my exam today. It's Wednesday. Uh, the 2nd of August already. Holy moly, you guys. Summer went just so, so fast when you're busy. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. I am ready to take my exam. I think I had three days to learn accounting. <laughs> Let's see how, how well I do. I don't know. I don't know what's on the test. And so yesterday I was kind of in a panic mode because there were tons of things that I could have learned or things that I might have had to go into a little bit more but then I was just thinking that it's for accounting clerk one so I was thinking I don't really need to know the CPA all of that everything a CPA knows so I kind of backed off just a little bit um, and uh, yeah I learned as much as I could within those three days so hopefully it goes well and uh, I feel I feel ready I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping that I know what's on the test. If I don't, it is what it is, and I'm just going to try my absolute best, and that's all I can do. So, I will talk to you guys when I get back. The sky today is very weird. Yesterday, we were supposed to have some thunderstorms, light showers, that didn't happen, but this morning when I was making um, hubby's breakfast and his lunch, it started raining which is odd and the the sky right now is like cloudy with blue sky and it's bright but there's weird I don't know if you guys can see that I don't know if the camera is going to pick up on it no well it just kind of shows it gray maybe I'll get a better picture outside I don't know so okay wish me luck I will talk to you guys when I get done it is hot oh my goodness it is super hot outside. It's so humid. Oh my goodness. So I'm back from my test, my exam. Um, <clears throat> they didn't uh, give us as much time as what I thought they were going to. It said when we got our invites for the exam that uh, we would be given 2.5 hours for the test and it's literally been an hour and a half and we've taken um, the orientation to the exam testing plus the written test and we are only given a half an hour for the skills test which uh, none of us well maybe one person got to finish before they collected uh, these hard drives that I had us um, that they had us put in the computer to bring up the different stuff and save our files so who knows I don't know I think I did okay I'm not gonna say I did great because I'm just not sure
I'm not sure. The written part, I know I did okay. The uh, skills, eh, so and so. I can enter in data, but um, it's been a long time since I've worked with Excel. So I don't know. Hopefully it goes okay. Hopefully I at least pass, you know, the, the eligibility part of it. I don't care if I necessarily get, you know, a job right away in that accounting. But I would like to at least be put on the eligibility list. So it is uh, coming up here to where the kids are going to go back to school. So they're going to need to start hiring people. So I should hear within the next couple of days. Hopefully, if I don't hear anything from uh, the people this time, that means that I passed. If I did not pass, then I kind of know what to study for this time. So um, it's okay. No big deal. And I will test the next time. So, uh, my lesson for today is you never know unless you try, and even if you're nervous and even if it's something you've never done before, you always, always, always have to try. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go home now, and I will check in with you guys a little bit later. I might actually take a nap because I have just been so stressed over all of this. Maybe I'll take a nap and just take the rest of the day off, no computer work, no nothing. First, I gotta eat though. You know, my stomach was doing in there, it was completely dead silent and my stomach was growling. On keto, I knew I wasn't gonna have a chance to eat breakfast this morning um, and so I just had my bulletproof coffee and my stomach growled literally the whole entire time. Oh, it was embarrassing, you know. So, um, oh, good news, I wanted to share with you guys. So, kind of bad news versus good news. So you know how I have been experiencing this burning smell, this phantom burning smell. So I did, and it's not that I'm smelling burning. It's really kind of hard to describe. It's kind of like the smell is just there. Whenever I breathe in, I smell burning. So uh, I Googled, I Googled my symptom. And according to WebMD, I had epilepsy. Never go off a of WebMD. <laughs> Um, but I googled my symptoms because I knew it was something to do with my nose because I couldn't actually I found out that I couldn't actually smell anything uh, unless it was like put right up to my nose and so I, I was cooking bacon I couldn't smell bacon I was cooking breakfast for my husband I couldn't couldn't smell it I was cooking fish for dinner last night couldn't smell that although apparently it was really really strong so I realized that I think I have a sinus infection or beginning of so I took some sinus stuff yesterday because I was also sneezing a lot yesterday and I have this cough and yucky stuff and just not fun but anyway I went ahead and I googled it my symptoms are exactly that of a sinus infection so I'm hoping if you guys watched Monday's video, I kind of talk about what my Mondays are like being deficient. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I kind of explain it a little bit more, but I have a vitamin D deficiency, which means that my immune system is very weak. I take pills every Monday and uh, by the middle of the week, which is Wednesday today, I should be at my highest peak of uh, vitamin absorption because that's what it that's what vitamin D deficiency does is it gives you fatigue and it also gives you um, or it also rejects the absorption of other nutrients vitamins and minerals and so your immune system doesn't get the support that it needs so if I have a sinus infection or the start of I took my pill on Monday so by now it should be absorbed into my system and I should start getting better right okay so I woke up this morning, had burning, you know, that burning smell again. I came to the exam. I got out of the car and I could actually smell the humidity. And if you live somewhere that it's humid sometimes, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. It's a kind of like a, a misty, not a misty, a musty smell. Uh, and it smells like earth. And so I could smell that. Then I went into the exam room and 
um, I messaged my husband right away because a, a lady sat down next to me and I said, well, either I can smell her, this lady's wearing a lot of perfume, because she, man, she was. I was like, I went from burning to smelling soap. So I think that's a good sign that I'm actually smelling other things. So um, keep your fingers crossed. And uh, that would mean that my body is actually doing what it's supposed to do as far as my immune system, killing any kind of uh, virus, bacteria, anything that's in my system causing the sinus infection. So I will let you go for now. I will be back. Talk to you then. Ooh, it's bright outside. It's very hot and humid. The clouds are going away though. So um, I am waiting for my Bible study to start. Um, yeah, not too sure what else I'm going to do today since I'm not going to be studying. I'm taking the day, the rest of the day off. No stress for me. So I am smelling things now, I've noticed uh, a little bit more, so I'm hoping my sinus infection is on the way out. It's about 3 o'clock now on Wednesday, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed because I really, really don't want it to turn. Last time I had a sinus infection, uh, if you watch Monday's video, I ended up with a triple sinus infection. So that was no fun. So I'm hoping that's not the case this time, but you know, it'd be a really, um, a really good way to test, you know, my immune system with the vitamin D that I've been taking. So if it's working, you know, the way it's supposed to, then my body should be getting rid of whatever's in my system. So, oh, also, so I've joined a bunch of keto groups on Facebook. And I noticed that one person was talking about a rash that they had, that they had gotten. And they said something like, does this mean that I'm in ketosis? And I'm thinking, how does a rash have anything to do with keto? So I posted on there and I was like, I have a scaly patch on my arm that itches like a mofo. Does that count? And they're like, yeah, it does. So I don't know if you guys can see it because the camera, I don't know. But... It's right there, and it itches really bad. And if that, it just started, like it just started with, uh, within the last, you know, couple of days I noticed it. Sorry if it's really loud, I'm outside, I'm waiting for my, my Bible teacher. Um, it just started the last couple of days, and or I just noticed it anyway. It just started itching. So maybe that means I'm in ketosis. I hope so. Also, another bit of information for those of you on keto or those of you interested, I just learned that IF, which is intermittent fasting, is actually part of it. Um, part of the research that somebody was doing, they said that, now I don't know, I can't say this 100% because I haven't done my own research, but I just saw it online and I wanted to share it with you guys real quick. If you are in uh, fasting mode for, I think 14 hours is what they said, then your body goes into ketosis. So it needs a minimum of 14 hours for it to go into ketosis. So if you're doing, like I'm doing in uh, 816, so I have an eight hour eating period, and then a 16, ah, this thing really itches, then a 16 hour fasting period, then that should automatically put me into ketosis. Why do all the loud cars go by when I'm on, when I have my camera on? It does that all the time. So, anyway, yep, I'm just going to go do my study and I will check in with you guys in just a little bit because here comes another loud one. Oh my god. It is so dark. Here we go. Okay. So I hope you guys liked today's vlog. Sorry it was a lot of talking. It's usually just me talking. Funny. Um, I had to bring my dogs outside because it's so hot in the house 
they just needed some air it's a lot cooler outside today was really really humid so anyway i will let you guys go and we will see you in the next video